Okay, round four, we're going to add these lovely petals to our flower. I've, I've bought one, um, I've got them both going now, so I can sort of show you where we're going with the next round. So we're going to add these frilly petals to the flower um, with this nice definition between them. Um, I'm using um, rose uh, because I'm working the original colourway, but obviously you choose whatever colour you like for your little flowers. And we're going to start by joining our yarn into the first of any of the five treble groups. All right, any of them at all, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to um, pull up a loop and secure with the chain. And that one's not going to count as our first stitch. OK, so I'm going in with one double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going straight into the next stitch with two treble because we're creating these nice sort of little, they're actually heart-shaped petals, I think. So two treble in there, and a half treble, all into the same stitch there. And we drop all the way down with a slip stitch into this next stitch. So it gives us that little definition. And then we're coming back up again into the next stitch with one half and two treble. Okay, and finishing with a double in the last of those five stitch group. So that's what our little heart shape petals look like. Aren't they beautiful? Love them. And I'm going to just show you this. I've got an unintentional heart. Look, in the centre of mine. Oh, it's all about love today, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're now going to make the divider between the petals, the definition which we, we bring that long stitch down. Can you see between the petals? And the way we're going to do that is with a front post treble. We've done these in a few places now, but let's just have a reminder. So UK terminology, we're going once around the hook and the front post treble is going to be worked um, around the um, in my case, cranberry stitch here. So whatever stitch you've used on, I think round two, was that round two? Yes, on round two, whatever stitch you've used on round two, um, that's where we're working the front post treble. So my yarn is around my hook. I'm gonna take my hook to the right of that double. Okay, going through from front to back, then behind the double and coming back up from back to front. So the double is sitting across the top of my hook right and then I'm just going to finish my treble in the normal way and what it does you will see is it just hides that gap and it will give us definition when we've got one on the other side on the next petal you'll see all right let's do the next petal so you can see what that looks like just hoiking out some more yarn okay so we're going to do that petal repeat again we're not doing anything in the uh, chain space behind. We're going back into the first stitch of the five treble group and putting a double in there. Then coming over to the next one and making two treble. All into the same one and a half, all into the same stitch. Dropping all the way down with a slip stitch in the next one and coming up again with a half and two treble in the next one. Now I know I'm going at a little bit of speed here, but obviously you've got this written in your pattern. This isn't too tricky. I just really wanted to look at this center stitch just to remind you. So yarn around, sorry, finishing with one double crochet in that last of the five stitches there. Yarn around the hook, coming down to that double crochet post made on round two. My hook goes in to the right of it from front to back, goes behind it and then comes out from back to front. And I just finish my stitch, my treble in the normal way. Okay, and there we go. We've got petals defined either side with those long stitches. Okay, and that's all you're gonna do all the way around. Okay, so I'm on the last little petal now and I'm coming down to make my last front post treble. There we go. And oh, <laughs> I shall just slip stitch into the top of the first double to close the round. Oh, 
Okay, so we have now got literally a pair of roses. We've got a little bit more to do to these lovely flowers, just a little bit more, and then we can start making some leaves and sorting all of this out. But that's how you make those lovely petals and divide them with the front post treble. I'll sew in the ends and we'll do the last round uh, on this rose. Okay, on round five, we need to put our flower in position. Okay, so make sure it's sort of sit, every, your, your um, stem is nicely straight and the flower is sitting at the top because what we're looking for is we're looking for the double crochet that sits at the 12 o'clock position. That's this one here um, on round two, double crochet, because we're going to join the yarn into the skipped stitch just to the right of it. We have skip, skip stitches on that round. So we're going to join our yarn in the one just to the right of it, okay? And we're going to work behind the petals with the right side facing. The easiest way to do that is to fold the petals forward and expose that slip stitch or skipped stitch, I beg your pardon. And my hook, of course, my one is the one where I had to cast off, so it's all tight but I'm going to pull my yarn through and secure with a chain and that's not counting as my first stitch so that's just joining in the yarn I'm going to go into that same space and put in one double crochet and just stop there I'm going to put a stitch marker into that stitch that's going to come in later on so there's a little stitch marker in there um, and I'm going to put one more double crochet into that same space. Okay, so important not to miss that little um, stitch marker. Like I said, we are going to want to do that, use that in the next or in the future rounds. Right, so one chain and then that's what I'm going to do all the way around. I'm going to find my next skip stitch, fold my, uh, my petals forward and put my hook into that skipped stitch, make two double crochet. We don't need to put stitch markers in, we just needed to do that into the first one. So two double crochet, one chain all the way around, just needed that, that stitch marker in the first stitch we made, okay? Two double, one chain, and the last one. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch, which I've marked to join. Pull that through and let's have a little look what that looks like. So from the front, you can see, so I've worked in parchment, which is the original colorway. And from the front, you can just see that little parchment um, feature uh, poking through and making sort of a, a nice star shape of the centre of the flower. So that that um, round five is the last round for the roses and we're now <laughs> eventually going to try and sort out these little curly stems and put some leaves on them. Okay, so there's your pair of roses ready for their leaves. <laughs> 